Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to Wowhead's Downtime Tuesday. My name is Panzer and today I'm going to be talking about the happenings of the past week in the world of Warcraft. I hope that you enjoy this video and if you do, remember to rate it thumbs up. Obviously, the biggest news of this week is that the Fury of Hellfire patch 6.2 will hit live servers on Tuesday, June 23rd. With this patch, players will be able to construct a garrison shipyard venture into the jungles of Tanan, test their luck against the bosses of Hellfire Citadel, and grind out the reputations needed for the Draenor Pathfinder achievement. Check out this clip from the Fury of Hellfire trailer. They will defy you. forces in battle. They are fearless. It does not matter what vile creatures you summon to the battle. They will persevere. Their resolve is unbreaking. They will come. They will fight. And they will wash their blades of your blood in victory. For those of you working on your legendary ring, patch 6.2 will add the final steps to completing the quest. In addition to the 735 ring, players who complete the legendary quest line will earn the achievement Chapter 4, Darkness Incarnate, which rewards a garrison monument. This is the first that I'm hearing about this garrison monument and I am quite excited about it. My garrison is rather pathetic and in all of the places where monuments should be, sit empty pedestals. So I'm pretty excited about this whole situation. I know, you're probably wondering why I don't have the crafting monument, but here's the thing. I'm a scribe and cards sell for a lot of gold and I care more about gold than monuments, judge me if you must. Like I said earlier, one of the biggest features coming in patch 6.2 is the new raid, Hellfire Citadel. With Hellfire Citadel, players will be able to face up against 13 new bosses split into 5 wings on 4 different difficulty levels. Let's take a look at the release schedule. On week 1, normal and heroic difficulties will open. Week 2, Mythic becomes available and Raid Finder Wing 1 unlocks. Wing 1 consists of Hellfire Assault, Iron Reaver, and Cormrock. Week 4, Raid Finder Wing 2 unlocks. Wing 2 consists of the Hellfire High Council, Killrog, and Gorefiend. Week 6, Raid Finder Wing 3 unlocks. Wing 3 consists of Shadowlord Iskar, Sakrathar the Eternal, and Tyrant Vilhari. Week 8, Raid Finder Wing 4 unlocks. Wing 4 consists of Fell Lord Zakun, Zul Harak, and Manoroth. Week 10, Raid Finder Wing 5 unlocks, which is the final boss, Archmond. Hellfire Citadel loot includes Tier 18 and an exclusive LFR tier, class-specific trinkets, loot that increases in the eye level as you progress further into the raid, the Corrupted Nest Guardian pet, an Archimond look-alike transmog set, and more. Players who get all of the achievements in Hellfire Citadel will earn the Infernal Direwolf mount. And players who defeat Archimond on Mythic difficulty will earn the Felsteel Annihilator mount and the Defiler's End title. For more information on Hellfire Citadel or anything related to 6.2, check out the links in the info below. In addition to everything that I've specifically talked about today, I also included a link to Wowhead 6.2 Survival Guide because it is really useful, but also they're doing a giveaway of the Magic Rooster mount on that article, so it's worth checking out. In before inappropriate rooster synonym joke. Moving on from 6.2, also happening in Azeroth right now is the Midsummer Fire Festival holiday event. Now through July 5th, players can test their luck against Lord Ahun and earn Burning Blossoms. Ahun has a chance to drop eye level 625 capes, his infamous Frost Sith, and the frigid Frostling pet. Burning Blossoms can be used to purchase pets, toys, heirloom upgrades, and more. For more information on the Midsummer Fire Festival and what's new in 2015, I have conveniently linked everything that you need in the information below. Last up today, let's talk a little bit about the exclusive Blizzard merchandise that will be available at San Diego Comic-Con this year. SDCC is right around the corner. It is July 9th through July 12th, and Blizzard will be there at booth number 115 with a ton of shiny new collectibles. The first SDCC exclusive is the Funko Pop Murloc Vinyl Figure 3 Pack, which retails for $29.99. The second is the cute but deadly Illidan figure for $17.99. 
Last up is the Nexus Welpling plush, which will set you back $24.99. In addition to the San Diego Comic-Con exclusives, Blizzard will also be offering some new convention exclusives, which will be sold at other conventions as well, and these include the demonic Tyrael Funko Pop Vinyl figure, and the cute but deadly Murloc Egg backpack. And that leads me right into today's question. If you could choose one piece of exclusive merchandise that Blizzard will be selling at San Diego Comic-Con, which one would you choose and why? For me, it would definitely be the Pop Vinyl Funko Murloc 3-pack because it's awesome and I collect Funko Pop figures and it's awesome and Murlocs and blah, 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 but you get it. You get it. What would you pick? Let me know in the comment section below and while you think about your answer, check out our answers to last week's question. And that's it for today's Wowheads Downtime Tuesday. I hope that you enjoyed it. My name is Panzer and my YouTube channel is Trade Chat. If you did like the video, please thumb it up, answer our question in the comment section below, and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already. Um, I hope that you will come back next Tuesday and every Tuesday, because Tuesday, and to see if your comment is in our featured section as always, I have linked everything in the information below that I spoke about today. I'm still bad at outros. Make sure that you tune into Wowhead Weekly this week. All of the things. I love you all. You're in my heart. So I'll see you soon. Goodbye. <laughs> I tried. Oh, that was the wrong. That was the air conditioner remote. Oh my God. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. I just got super scared. It wasn't recording. Oh my God. I don't know what's wrong with me. I was like, what? what's going on? It's not recording. It totally is though. Wow. Wow. Good job, Danielle. Of course you've heard by now that Blizzard will in fact be allowing flying in Draenor. Now a couple weeks ago they announced that there would probably be no flying in new content and the e-riots ensued. So after careful deliberation, Blizzard came up with an excellent compromise to solve this problem. Flying will be earned in Draenor by completing a series of tasks as part of the new achievement, Draenor Pathfinder. You will need to explore all the areas of Draenor. You'll need to complete all of the main story quests for your faction, you'll need to find 100 Draenor treasures, do a bunch of Apexus Crystal dailies, and become revered with 3 out of 4 of the new 6.2 Tanan factions. I am aware that that word is revered, but there's something in my brain that just says revered, I'm sorry. To find out your character's progress in the Draenor Pathfinder achievement, you can head over to wowhead.com flying.